Hi everyone and welcome. So recently we have received this Orange Pi RB2 single board computer from the Orange Pi. Now uh, in this video we are going to cover the getting started guide for this Orange Pi RB2 single board computer. We are going to flash the Ubuntu desktop operating system inside the micro SD card and we are going to you know plug the SD card here on the back side of this board and we are going to connect this board with this HDMI screen from the Electro. Okay so let's see how you can getting started with the Orange Pi RB2 single board computer. Now here you can see I have the SD card reader, writer, okay, and I have placed this 32 GB of SD card here in the SD card reader. Now I'm going to plug it into my system, okay. Now here you can see it is already uh, formatted, so we are not going to format it again. Now I'm going to open the Balena Eager software to flash the operating system onto the SD card. But we have to select the file that which operating system we want to flash into our SD card. So here on our website, now here you can see system image for Orange Pi RV2 and here is the link for Ubuntu system image. Okay, now here you can see Orange Pi RV2, Ubuntu Noble Desktop GNOME Linux, okay, and Orange Pi RV2, Ubuntu Noble Server Linux. So in this video, we are going to cover this desktop Linux and in the future videos, we are going to cover the server Linux. So in the server Linux, you don't have the, uh, you know, screen or desktop and in the desktop Linux, you have the uh, screen so you can build your mini PC kind of thing. So you have to download uh, your required operating system from here. I have already downloaded both of the operating system. So GitHub, Embedded Devices and uh, here you can see Orange Pi operating system orange pi rv2 ubuntu operating system and here i have both of the operating system now we are going to uh, flash this noble desktop operating system in this video and in the next video we are going to flash the server operating system and we'll cover the usb debugging wi-fi setup everything okay so let's go with the desktop operating system so here is my balena eager i'm going to click on this uh, flash from file and then we'll navigate to the Orange Pi operating system, RV2, Ubuntu operating system, and we'll select the desktop image. So Ubuntu Noble desktop GNOME image, and here is the file. Okay, if you get this error, then what you have to do is you have to open the Balena Eacher in the admin mode. Okay, so run as the administrator. Yes. And flash from file. Again, uh, Orange Pi RV2 Ubuntu desktop. Okay, that's it. The error is resolved. Now here is our SD card which we have attached with the system. Now all you have to do is just click on the flash button. So it will start flashing that operating system to our SD card and then we can plug the SD card on the back side of our Orange Pi RV2 single board computer. So let's wait for few minutes till this process is done Okay, so we have successfully flashed the operating system onto our SD card. Now we can close the Balena Eager. We can remove the SD card from the system. And I can plug the SD card on the back side of the board. Okay, so that's it. Okay, so we have plugged the SD card on the back side of the board. Now I can connect this uh, USB cable for the touch inputs. Okay. And here I have HDMI to HDMI cable, okay.
Now the screen I have received from the Electro which is 7 inch HDMI display. Here you can see this is the display port or you can say HDMI port and this is the touch input and the power input both. <laughs> so the screen will get the power from this uh, Orange Pi RV2 board. Okay, no need to provide the external power supply. So that's it. Now we can turn on our board using USB C cable. Okay, so our operating system is successfully booted. Okay, now you have the two screens here. Both are same. There is no difference. Uh, you can launch one screen by clicking here. Okay, and if you want to open that menu again, then you can click here to open that menu. If you want to switch to the second screen, then you can click here and you can switch to the second screen. Okay, now let's connect with the Wi-Fi. So here you can see the list of Wi-Fi. So I'm going to connect with my 5G network. It will support both 2.4 gigahertz and 5 gigahertz of network okay so it will ask for the password now right now i am not connected with my keyboard or mouse okay so this uh, operating system running in the orange pi rb2 it will have its own uh, display keyboard so i can provide the password from here okay my password is fine i can press on connect and let's wait for a few seconds until it will connect with my Wi-Fi. It is connected. Now let's open the terminal here. And let's open the keyboard. Now ping. Okay, here you can see we are getting successful ping. So it means that we are successfully connected with the Wi-Fi. Okay, you can see. Now I want to connect this uh, system with my uh, USB keyboard and mouse. Okay, it is also Bluetooth keyboard and mouse. So what I can do is I can click here. I can click on the Bluetooth. Okay, no connected device available. So I can turn my Bluetooth on for this keyboard. Okay, otherwise what we can do is we can open the settings here. We can close the terminal, we can open the setting here and uh, here in the Bluetooth you can see BT keyboard is available. Okay, so I can connect with the Bluetooth keyboard which is this one and here you can see we are connected. Now uh, I can move my mouse from here. Okay, I can close anything from here. I can open any application Okay, from this keyboard. Okay, I can open the terminal and I can type something from my this keyboard, which is I'm really sorry. Yeah, which is this uh, Bluetooth keyboard. So ping, sorry, P I N G ping Google dot com. And here you can see we are getting successful ping. Okay, now control C now let's check uh, let's first clear the screen now let's check cpu ls cpu okay here is the cpu detail uh, let me zoom it okay here you can see risk v64 architecture eight core of cpu okay number of core you can see eight okay now let's check the uh, ram so free hyphen h now here you can see we have total 2 gb of memory and free memory is available 744 mb okay now let's check the storage so let us clear the screen first okay df hyphen h now here you can see this is our sd card 29 gb okay and the rest of the other uh mounting points now let's check the block ls block now here you can see we have only one block which is mmc block 
zero p1 which is having size of 28.6 gb which is our sd card and which is divided into this much of uh, you know mounting points okay so this is how you can flash ubuntu operating system in the sd card okay for orange by rv2 you can plug that sd card on the back side of the orange by rv2 and you can connect your bluetooth keyboard and mouse with your orange by rv2 you can connect the wi-fi okay on your orange by rv2 and you can use the entire setup as a standalone system okay now in case if you don't have this kind of display then how you can you know access the terminal of orange by rv2 so that thing we are going to cover in the future video that how you can use usb debugging to connect with this board via usb okay and uh, after connecting it via usb how you can you know connect with wi-fi how you can connect with the bluetooth and everything so that thing we are going to cover in the future video but this video is mainly focusing on how to getting started with the orange by rv2 and we have successfully flash ubuntu noble desktop linux to the sd card we have successfully integrated the hdmi screen with the orange by rv2 single board computer okay and here you can see we have 2 gb of ram okay so Free hyphen H. Here you can see we have 2 GB of RAM. Okay, 8 core of processor, and I am using 32 GB of SD card. So that is more than enough. So if you have any question or any doubt, then you can always ping me on Telegram, Instagram, WhatsApp, anywhere. And if you have something in your uh, mind which you want to test out with the Orange Pi RV2 single board computer, then you can always ping me on the comment section. Also, you can ping me on Telegram, Instagram, WhatsApp. So I can try this and I can create a video for you. So let's meet in the future videos. And in the future video, we are going to cover the uh, server linux okay with the orange pi rv2 single board computer and we'll cover the usb debugging wi-fi setup and everything so i hope this is clear that how you can set up your orange pi rv2 with the desktop operating system okay now i'm going to shut down this and here you can see power off that's it so it will power off okay so let's meet in the future videos till then take care Goodbye and thank you.